All right, okay, so, damn it. All right, so I looked up, I started to look at the distributed orchestrator, and um, I think that it would be, well, I think that it would be good to go through it um, together. I saw you, so what, yeah. so what? I think it would be good to go through it together because I'm having trouble understanding. I'm having trouble separating what you're meaning to do from what is okay, actually okay. being done oh, and then okay, what okay, you're okay. going to do in the future, you know, because I know that okay. this isn't what you're intending to have it finished be as, right? So I'm trying to figure out, okay, where's it at? Where's the gaps? And then where are you trying to go versus what's okay, actually going okay. on, right? So. Okay. Um, I think in the future, in general, more more comments um, would be good. Um, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe like uh, till the code is merged, I'll also come and like what I intend this place yeah. to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so if we could maybe have like a, um, if we could have like a document going as well, you know, like in the documentation um, with what's going on, that would be okay. really good. Um, okay, so we okay. should add, because that would tell us, you know, what, what is supposed to happen, right? And okay. then when we look at the code, we can say, okay, what's actually happening, right? Because I'm, okay. yeah, sometimes I'm thinking, I'm not sure whether I'm going, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, well, this could be, you know, this is probably intentional, but, but, you know, why is it intentional? And then is it, or is it intentional, right? So, um, mainly okay. things like I thought we had talked about, um, or we had talked about like the operations that the nodes are instantiating and stuff. Um, yeah. And it looks like you're giving, where the hell did it go? Um, it looks like down here you give, you give, um, you know, where, when you instantiate the worker, you give the operations, right? Um, yeah. You can also provide operation implementations, but it doesn't yeah. look like this is some sort of, it looks like this is exactly what operations they'll be running, right? Sorry, what? It, it looks yeah, like it's the set of operations with that yeah. can do. Yeah, so, but, but it looks like this is the one that it will be running. Uh, like, yeah, not necessarily, not than, all of them, but a subset of them. Okay, that is... Okay, so I'm just, I, the other thing was, the reason why I say this is because I didn't see where, what what I was thinking we were going to do there was make that the, um, like the allow list of, of allowed, um, damn it, of allowed operations, right? Yeah, those are the list of allowed operations. Okay. Oh, okay. With, uh, okay, okay, I think yeah, this is where I see the comments for that. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the list of allowed operations, and whenever a data flow comes in, the primary uh, the primary node, uh, the data flow node uh, sends in like whatever operations it needs, and whatever nodes has the, those set of operations responds back. Okay. And okay. it's the data flow node which tells okay, uh, which allocates the indexes which we talked about. Okay, great. Okay, just making sure that's what I was having trouble understanding there. Okay. okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah, this requires more comments. Yeah, and the other thing is I need to pull this down and actually run it. Um, because so let's see. Let's see. Yeah, and then I was wondering what's going on with the, what's going on with like the, the, where was that? I just was looking at something. What I mean to say is like the signaling of how many workers are there. Um, where did that go? Right, because don't we need to know how many workers there are? So the primary node has a list of operations operation names and indexes it is allocated to. 
So from the list, list of indexes, you know how many work mm -hmm. there are. Okay. Oh, from the list of indexes. Okay. Yeah, like how many active workers there are. They're like there might be other nodes uh, which are ready to accept the list, but these are the ones which are associated to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, it looks... So, and then, okay, and then where was that? So we've got... Okay, so the point we're at now is we've got um, the worker and the orchestrator and mm -hmm. the orchestrator will create the orchestrator creates one of those round robin cues or the what do you call it um, I think you had a better circular cue yeah circular cue yeah yeah it creates one of those and so yeah so we have for each instance we have a circular queue right for each operation yeah for each operation and the circular queue contains those instances the indexes okay. for those instances to be exact okay okay so let's see let's just okay and we are are we you we are using the instance name okay good um, or Okay. Uh, I probably got to check this out more. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't had much time to look at this because um, there's oh, a lot to look at. Here. I know. I know you are like you got pretty much your plate for. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay. I'm. Okay. Um, okay. I did get back to this. This one, I realized there's some more stuff we need to be doing because we're not exactly replicating. Once I saw the output, I realized we're not. We don't have all. The yeah, same that things. was something which I had to discuss today. But I saw your comment that already. So okay. I know how to go forward. Okay. okay. So let's see. Like this, uh, with the earlier implementation, the CLI was not actually outputting properly. Then I had to like because oh. I was returning a dictionary, not yielding. Mm. Okay. Let's see. All right. So, all right. Um, okay. So, do you have anything else you want to talk about today, Agen? Uh, nothing. I'll nope. I'll maybe uh, maybe you can like postpone the review for tomorrow because like I'll write up that documentation. So that will that yeah that will help definitely. Yeah. All right. It might yeah, be easier I'm, for you to do. Yeah, I'm planning to spend all day tomorrow just sort of like cranking on on, on things that I've been behind on. So that's yeah. that'll be great. Um, that will save me time then when I review. Great. Okay, and then I'm also planning on doing layer support probably tomorrow. So I've been I had the reason why I was um, um, slightly late today is because I was just talking to my manager, um, and I have another meeting with her at eleven, and I'm. Slightly, I'm trying to I'm trying to finish up that kernel patch thing that I was telling you guys about, and so I'm uh, I'm 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 under the gun on that one. So uh, so that's why that's that's why things have been lagging lately. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that. I think I've, I think I found all the right fields and stuff. So I think I, I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get that done this weekend too, and then and then I've got some more time freed up here. I also want to let you guys know that um, I'm gonna be um i'm gonna be um like i'm taking vacation obviously you know no one's going anywhere <laughs> um but <laughs> i'm taking some vacation um yeah that's a fun thing work. to say nowadays <laughs> yeah, yeah right um, <laughs> but uh, I, basically, you know, I won't be working right <laughs> yeah yeah um so and that it's gonna be um 
from the because it's going to be my wife's birthday so well you know our wedding got postponed but um she's basically my wife um so the fifth through the tenth um so basically i'll be i think i'm going to try to find and i may be uh i don't know but the, the 11th i may find so i'm trying to i'm i think i'm going to try to get uh sudar Sinar yash to lead on the 7th and the 11th um or we may just drop one of those um let's see um we'll see we may we it depends whether somebody somebody wants somebody else wants to lead the meeting or not um and then i have to figure out how the hell to get everyone to have a meeting because of google meet and the having to allow people in um oh yeah we used to use hangouts and it didn't do that that's right um maybe we could just switch back to that who knows um okay anyway so and then saksham you're also waiting you're still waiting on that layer support example and that's one of those things that i'm hoping to catch up on um yeah waiting on that and side by side i'm trying to work on the object yeah. detection model yep. the and you've got that's you've right. got your your flowers that you're oh uh, yeah yeah I'll update that okay great and then was there another thing that we or no that was this so you, we merge get single modifications and then you're going to use that on the flower ones and we merge pytorch and so those are both going to go into the the sky right oh uh, yeah that was exactly what i wanted to say okay. that i think we should do both in this same example i i agree yeah and and i think that perhaps so i think that you should show the editing um so we have mnist where we show editing in flight right in this like by in flight i mean like before we go into train with the pre-processing source in this one do you save out i don't remember seeing you yeah so you don't you don't you do it in flight in this one too don't you right yes now? all right so i think this because this one's bigger right you it might be it's probably worth it to show how we could edit it and save it off as something else and then that way you can show the comparison between scikit and the the cnn right because i think that that's still a cool thing to show um basically I this is why we use um so i mean you can use the edit command basically so show show the usage of the edit command um so you want uh, me to like take those uh, operations and create that json file i let's see oops i mean to say that you have the let's see images equals data flow so you are using this source you're using the pre-processing source every single time um and let me let me sorry let me take some notes here um because we're just this is not gonna okay so and actually maybe i think i'm gonna take back what i said earlier um use uh instead so uh, what i'm saying is instead of um so basically disregard everything i said and now now i'm gonna <laughs> restate it in, in hopefully a clear way so instead of um using or instead of using the pre-processing source um for each uh ml command so dffml train slash accuracy slash predict um let's use dffml edit to create a new uh, json file containing the pre-processed uh, data um and i'm going to go ahead and say that you should do like dot json dot gz or something 
Um, I mean, just play around with that, you know, um, try maybe adjacent.gz to see if, um, or just like, yeah, try, try, j just make it a JSON file and then like look at the size. So look at the size by using, you can use du dash h um, file name. Um, and if it is really large, then you can like, you know, gzip it. So. Uh, won't we use the merge command? The merge command? I mean, oh yeah, I guess you would use, yeah, you would use the merge command. Yes, you would. Good, good, <laughs> good, good catch. Yes, merge. Nice. Um, yeah, because we're creating a new source. Very, very nice. Um, and we need to add that to the, I think that's still a thing that, ooh, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll add that. We'll, we won't. We won't really just if you if you happen to feel like adding that to doc slash cli then that would be great and then i need to fix the damn ci because i don't know what the hell's going on it's still i thought i pinned the damn tensorflow but obviously it's not working so um let's see yeah, i think um, i was uh, i was going to do do that in this in this example at first but i think i was getting an error for that no default type object no default json, JSON serializable error something like that i don't remember completely all right well we'll just try it again and let's see what what happens um because that should work um and if it doesn't work then we should we should definitely um um if it doesn't work then we should definitely figure it out and at least make an issue. Um, so docs, CLI, merge, I need to document. Um, so this is just, we just need to do this at some point. Um, and so if you feel like throwing it in here, great. If it doesn't work, then create a new issue. And, and, and yeah, so let's go with that. So, um, okay, cool. Um, um, yeah. Okay. So then, we'll so that'll that'll show how we do the merge command. It should save us a bunch of time running each of those commands. The train accuracy predict, and then we can also maybe showcase how we can gzip the sources or do the file. Um, I just first. ran the command and, and it blows up. And it is giving a JSON serializable type error. Object okay. So that's. I mean, numpy something. Yeah. Yeah. NumPy, I think. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So that should be, I mean, that's, let's, you want to pop open your screen here and we can sort of, okay, let's see. Uh, yes. Do you want to share your screen? Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, great. So, um, okay, object of type uint8 is not JSON serializable. Okay. Um, okay. Um, we need to go find... Where is... I wonder if they have...
Okay, so we need to check that export function. Um, we should be let's let's pop open um, uh, let's open um, um, where is it? It's in util data. just realized also. This one, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so where is... Let's scroll up here. Um, export value, I believe. Yeah, the one where we have that collections, ABC callable and stuff. Okay. So that was how we found if it was um, the list, right, or whatever. Yeah, it was a um, number by added, and we converted yeah, into a tuple. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So let's just say, um, okay, this is like this is where we want to add the magic, right? Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I think what we should do is we should expand that little elif to just be like, you know, that elif, the first thing is uh, get at her module equals numpy, and then let's put the rest of this stuff into a sub if statement. I think like in when we did, uh, we, we use export value in uh, the string type of uh, when we are showing printing the record, the mm -hmm. uh, str method. Yeah. And here we are just uh, taking the JSON dump. So I don't think it is being used here. Uh, I don't know. I it, should, it should because, um, well, let's see. If it's not, then we have a problem because I believe it should call record.export. Um, let's see. I believe that, where is it? Um, basically, yeah. So if it's not, it should um, <laughs> because, uh, because the thing is that custom JSON, the custom JSON um, encoder that we have is not the best way to do this. Um, because, so let's see, because the problem is somebody's going to just not use it at some point, right? Especially like if you look at the HTTP API, you can make, there's another place where this happens. Um, so, but yeah, it, it's probably the case. Where is that? Uh, let me just, here, let me open it up too. All right, so it's probably in util CLI command. Um, and then we've got okay, yeah. JSON encoder. Okay, yeah, if is instance object record, then it does object dot dict. So we should end up with the exported type thing. Yeah, yeah um, it's doing the export. All right, so all right, so basically, it looks like, and it looks like, so go jump over to JSON encoder in, um, in. I think what we need to do is we need to take this code out of. It, at some point, we need to take the code out of there, and um, put it into the main export value function. Um, so util. CLI command is where we want to go. All right, so now let's jump up to the encoder again. Okay, so I think we want those two lines, basically the ones that say, if the LF numpy in type name lower, I think we want those lines, like those that if and that LF, and then the ND array is the one where it ends up with two list, right, or flatten or whatever. So we probably just want to grab, you know, the body of this elif with numpy. This. Yeah, let's grab that and let's throw that in export value. So. Yeah, this stuff needs to be properly combined at some point. Um, 
okay so yeah so this is what then yeah let's put it in the, the body of that right and then then we can make let's see is is was flattened for the images or was it for arrays is it the same thing like what is the difference between two list and flatten do you guys know a two list changes the uh, numpy array into a list and flatten just flattens it and returns a 1d numpy array so if it's like a multi-dimensional array then it turns it into a single single dimensional array I have not tried it. Maybe okay, let's, yeah, let's figure it out. <laughs> I, I think flatten like, uh, like converts into a one D array, and list will return a list of lists. Okay. Uh, it returns a uh, same dimensional list. Okay, so that that makes sense. So, so and what we probably want here is well, I guess. See, this is a good. See, this this is uh, hmm. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if we always want to flatten it. Um, uh, yeah, now I'm concerned that we've been flattening it, and we probably shouldn't have been flattening it, right? Because we're losing the dimensionality on these things. Uh yeah we're just losing the dimensionality when it goes to the record before that it has its dimensions and i'm using the operations on the image arrays okay um so what what's gonna blow up if we do two list instead of flatten is anything gonna ex like i can't I mean, I, we can we'll we'll try right but so yeah let's see that would be well no now you want that to be uh you would want that to be two list right so so here one second section so let's let's one second here so let's make the elif yeah so the but the the elif is correct right now but let's just take that 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 stuff you commented out within the elif and make it its own if statement within this block like so at the indentation level your cursor's at right now okay you uh, yeah right there so grab that stuff and make an if statement yeah this stuff right yeah all that yeah right because what we want to do here is basically say if it's numpy and it's an iterable and it can be two listed then to list it otherwise if it looks like an int then make it an int if it looks like a float make it a float that's what we want the body of this thing to be now right okay so here it will be yeah that would be that yeah if it's if it's an uh numpy array and it is yes. a order. yeah so let's do Let's do two list. So this is okay. So the, let's do flatten. I guess let's do flatten for now, because you know it's this probably gonna break things, right? How's it going, Sutanshu? So we'll do flatten for now because it's probably going to break things, right? And then, um, and then we'll we'll make an issue that we should change it to two list because, um we're losing information that we shouldn't be losing. The goal of export is just to change, it's just to change the types, right? To something that would be JSON serializable. Um, oh, yeah. And the basic Python, Python types. And, and since we've done, we, we did flatten and now we've lost information instead of just converting types, right? Um, so we're gonna, and, and my guess is that, that things may break. Um, so, um let's just do flatten we'll just change it to flatten right now um let's see okay and i'll make an issue here so yeah and then you want to get the rest of that body of that if statement and i think you might need a uh um let's see you might need uh i think it, it it did the type name at one i think in the in the 
JSON within the encoder, it was looking at the type name. It turned the type name into a string, and then it said, you know, what is it? Um, yeah. So yeah, that's probably what you want there. <laughs> yeah. So if is instance iterable and flatten is callable, elif, then that int in type name lower or u int. Can you have u floats? Uh, let's see. I feel like I've seen that. Maybe not, though. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense, actually. And they have bytes and short and long, long double. Okay. Oh, geez. All right. Okay. Versions between types. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you fix the indentation and then remove that commented stuff. And then I think we should be good to go here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think the indentation levels kind of off here. Oh, I'm returning stuff. I think. Uh, oh yeah, don't return. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. We've got to do object key. We've got to remove that last lf there with the nd array, and then undo the yeah indent those two or those three lines. Scalar type objects. Are we doing object or value here? Uh, let's see. It looks like. Oh yeah, that's true. So you want to do value? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oof. Wow. The naming of these variables. Um, let's see. Wow. It would be really great if. NumPy had a way to go from their types to standard types. Where, why? I feel like this has to be a thing. fixing there. Yeah, maybe put the and on the other line, on the line above it. Yeah, put the, you'll need to put the is instance there too, yeah. All right, this looks correct. Well, it's doing something. Nope. No, it's not. All right. Um, JSON decode error. Wow. What the hell? What? Oh, because oh, because the previous file is um is just oh, blank. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you got to remove that. That happened to me recently too. Yeah, that happened to me. What the hell? I was all mad about it, and then I opened the file. And I was like, oh, no, that's my fault. Yeah. I was too. <laughs> I wish there was some way, yeah. Like, it's like that, nope. Oh. Are you kidding me? I think, I think we removed the uh, NDRA one. Um, let's see. Well, let's see. It should be, it should say the value is an iterable, and the value has. 
okay, yeah, maybe. Well, because the ND array should have flatten, though, right? And it should be an iterable. Um, this is, I think this is going, this is being run, this statement. That statement, well, it, but that's what I'm saying is it must not be being run because let's see the error message. Because type ND array is not JSON serializable, right? But it should, it should run it if ND array has, I'm looking up the docs right now. ND array, it should have, uh, yeah, it has a flatten method. So maybe just try to list. Well, flatten dot flatten dot to list isn't going to help you because it's still going to hit that. It's not hitting that if statement. So try get at her to list. But this doesn't really, I mean, so it is iterable. So just change flatten to to list here and see what happens. And then do it in the get at her as well. Like this, oh, okay. Yeah, that. and then the only other thing is that that now we did type value module equals numpy. So, um, so I wonder if it's not hitting that. But we should probably this is stupid. There's no goddamn logging in here. Um, oh, we should put this. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess let's just try to see what this happens, but I'm now thinking that our main problem here is for some reason that the module does not equal NumPy. Um, let's do, yeah, let's say, oh, let's, at the end of this, let's do an else, like a very last one, an else, and let's just like raise value error or something because we don't know how to export this NumPy type, right? So say unknown NumPy type or something. And then um, add the type. Yeah, put the type. So, um, yeah, you know, yeah. Perfect. It's hitting one of them. Dude, what happened? Hitting the same error. Same error? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, if, if it is a numpy array, and then it is hitting this first. Okay, yeah, so it must and not it think hitting, it's numpy. It was hitting this before, too. We it just was? made it, uh, it, we just took out this from the elif statement. So yeah, but I guess this. that's what I'm saying though, is it must not be hitting the, it must not be hitting this, this, the, the elif module equals numpy, because or else we would have hit that unknown numpy type, because we converted it to a list and then it should be a regular Python list, right? So, it, and we would have hit the value error if it was a different kind. So we must not, we must have done get at her type value module equals equals numpy and it was not NumPy, right? So what, I wonder. Um, Just a second, I'm going to put my laptop on charge. Okay. okay. Um, let's see here. Um, what are we doing now? whatever we did over there um yeah let's just do all right so let's just do instead of this get after module numpy numpy let's let's do the it looks like we did um elif uh numpy dot in type name lower so let's remove that get at her module thing and just make this whole ill state f elif statement um uh, quotes numpy dot in quote in type name type name lower numpy dot 
Okay, so this will go up. Yeah, up we there. gotta put that up there. Yeah, that should give us the same thing that we had in the JSON coder. Okay, so. What the hell? Um, Should I print it up there? Because you are seeing what I mean. Happening. Yeah, just might as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it blowing up on? Oh, oh okay, okay. Did you I say think we did same thing we happened, I think. Yeah, what's going on? I think so. Wait, what can you do? FG, wait, do FG in the terminal so we because it's it's paused, right? We want to see the rest of the logs when it barfs. to delete that JSON file again, I think. Yeah. No. I think it's... Let's see. I'm not seeing your screen. Like, I'm seeing your screen, but I think it might be frozen. Um, it's my screen are, not showing. Let's see, where are you? Where are you looking right now? Um, I'm at the Google Meet screen. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, we're seeing uh, VS Code still. Um, maybe turn it on and off. Like uh, presenting. Okay, so yeah, so what 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 happened with the command that we ran? Did it okay? NumPy ND array, but it looks like it works now, right? Is that command completed? I don't. Check that file. Hey, yeah, all right, okay, sweet. How big is that file? Let's check now. Uh, it would be u dash h. Oh, can we check this? Uh, du space dash h. And then, the, the, yeah, then the file. Yeah, this is a 3.7 M. Okay. So oh, that's not too bad. Um, but you could still, I mean, you could still add the dot gz and then that way it would be, that way we could show how we can do that. Um, uh, okay. So, all right, great. Okay, great. So let's let's add this. Maybe you can throw this up. Um, you can put this in. Well, I guess you have the flower PR and then you have this. So let's make this a separate PR. Um, but okay. Oh, but the other thing was that we're now changing it, right? We're changing it from from um, we changed it from flatten to to list. So let's let's change it from to list to flatten again, and then and then so we'll merge this one. And then you'll have it in the flower one, right? And then we need to go through and we need to change it to two list in a separate one because my guess is that's going to break a bunch of things, right? I mean, is it or are you using it? I guess, do we do export and then do we feed it to the the, the preprocess? Like when we use the preprocessing source, um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's check. going straight. Because that's that's the that's the question, right? So, okay, looks like, um, you know, we just do record dot feature, so it's not going to export it. So we should probably be fine to change it to flatten. 
uh, or I mean to to list. Um, wait, what the hell? Yeah, I changed it to flatten and ran it again. It doesn't like that. Okay, let's let's no. do to list then. Yeah, um, or maybe yeah at the end there. Um, yeah, so let's do to list. And is to list? I guess. I guess so. They'll always have to list, and sometimes they won't have one. Um, I think okay. we were doing flatten, and then we are converting it into a tuple before, uh, like this. Oh, we were. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's keep it as value dot flatten right now. Um, I mean, because it doesn't really matter whether it's a tuple or a list, right? Like, um, there's really no sense in type converting it again. Yeah, I think it, the two list one works. All right, yeah, let's do two list. Great. All right, sweet. Let's do that. And then, um, and then let's, let's call that good. And let's, let's, uh, let's push this up here. So, and as a separate PR, just this change. I mean, I think you probably need to run black. Um, sweet. All right. So, Where's the meeting? Yeah, I use Git hooks, so it runs black for me. Oh, great. Yeah, that's right. I think we talked about that last time. Sweet. Um, so our fix was to move some of the JSON encoder stuff to uh, export value. Um, all right. And so this, this, this will be a separate PR. All right. So, so Sutanshu, I realized that um, uh, it was definitely the wrong decision um, that we made last time where we said to take out the accuracy. I mean, and you probably noticed that too, right? Because then we now no longer yes. have access yes. to that stuff. Um, and then I, I assume you saw my comment too, that basically we should just move it back. Yes, yes, I actually reverted that change. Okay, great. I'm right. sorry about that. Sorry we, we went down that path. Yeah. Um, and then, but you know, I guess the, the the good news here is that we we did we did we did make the right decision initially by not getting rid of that model accuracy method. Um, so, um, so that's the good news, I guess. Um, so we'll basically just and I think I think I was thinking about it a little bit more, and I was thinking, you know, for this case, um, let's see, well, what was um, like? Okay, so we've got. Um, I was thinking, you know, we'll, we'll have the log message, but it would also be kind of nice to say, um, you know, to have an error happen as well. And so I'm not sure if you have any have any ways that, that you think that might might be good to do that. Um, you know, just try them out or something. Um, because so so basically so. Okay, let me open the PR too. And I don't think, am I screen sharing again or am I not? I'm not, okay. Um, all right, so, oh, would you look at that? Somebody just put up XG boost. Um, okay. Um, da, 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 distributed not circuitry, nope. Um, okay. All right, so basically, the so say okay, so we have the accuracy method, right? And then the default one in the model base class says, you know, I know how to do this. I'm gonna, you know, if if there's one predict, if there's predict and features, then I'll just pass it to to uh, um, or let's see, if there is features, right? Then you pass it to the scorer, right? Um, and then, so, and then if 
there isn't, I believe it just raises an ex- not implemented error, right? So what I was thinking is that um, is that the, the problem is, okay, so say we have that use case where you go through and you say, well, let me evaluate all these models. Um, well, I guess you wouldn't be evaluating the NLP models anyways. Um, so this is kind of a non-event. Um, I don't know. I just sort of, I was just, I was thinking about that. Did any more thoughts on that? Or did that sound like rambling nonsense? <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll go with rambling nonsense. Um, and no thoughts on that. So, oh no, much who can't join. Um, okay. So do you, does anybody have anything else they want to talk about today then? Uh, what about this PR? Like, should this only be this it change? It should just be that change. Yeah. Just okay. that modification to export value okay so i was also i also wanted to ask about uh, another uh, thing i was working on like e- uh, uh, yielding and async stuff mm-hmm. like uh i should i should share my oh, screen sorry i got disconnected for a bit okay um let's see so sudhanshu um uh yeah, I think basically, I don't know when you got disconnected, but basically the resolution is the same, just sort of rambling about, you know, the accuracy stuff. Um, yes. And I think that, you know, just keeping them in that method is probably what makes sense. I was also saying that, you know, like if we did, if we have this situation where we loop through all the models and try to evaluate their accuracy, then, and we pass them an accuracy score and we don't see, you know, that they are warning us that they don't actually do anything with the accuracy score then um you know it would be nice to have a way for them to raise an exception because then it would definitely get the user's attention um but the user will probably not be looping through a bunch of different nlp models trying to see their accuracy because well um and passing them an accuracy score because it just doesn't work like that right that might be something that we would deal with with like a regression model or something but there's no way the reason that the regression model shouldn't accept the accuracy score and if it does then we can raise there um so basically non-event again um i just wanted to work through that logic um is there anything else you wanted to talk about on the on the accuracy scoring front there or uh Yes, like uh, like two of the models are not in the uh, like the spacey model and the uh, PyTorch model. Sorry, could you say I missed the first word you said there? Yeah, spacey is also there in the models. Okay, okay. Um, so, oh, spacey. Oh, yeah, because we've added new models now. But those that yes. spacey model is another NLP one. So I don't think I think you can just leave that one too. But you will need to modify the method signatures now, right? So yes. you're going to need to have them accept the accuracy score. So um, and th- so basically, yeah. Instead of uh, let me edit this right now, and and we'll make this um, so. So for NLP models, uh, modify uh, method, accuracy method, signature. Oh, and I think we also gained PyTorch, didn't we? Um, but actually, yes. you don't have those. You don't have those in that branch. Um, yes. Well, you can. You should. Oh, yeah. You should. You should merge in the other branch. Um, because yeah hmm. yeah you should merge in the master branch into this um um yeah you should merge in the master branch to this because then you'll get those models um and it's going to show up you should probably do that we should probably we'll 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 hit merge on this pull request after it's done and then we'll do the same thing for whatever's been added in between then and uh and so basically take take the, the NLP models that are in there right now, um, modify the accuracy method signature to accept a score, uh, but just log, uh, or, but log 
warning that it won't be used. Um, then, and then we need to, um, so we'll merge, we'll merge this bit and then, and then we'll just say phase 3.5 because since we've gotten, so phase 3.5, uh, so create PR that merges, um, or that, okay. So we need to take the content from the master branch, right? And we need to put it in the accuracy score branch. Um, yes. and, uh, and then we need to do the same thing we just did on the ones that weren't there. Right. So, yes. This is non-trivial. Um, so, like in the phase three point five, I will have to like uh, uh, like manage that uh, PyTorch ones, right? Uh, these space events are not compatible. Let's see. Is it? Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay. The spacey, yeah, the spacey ones are the same thing as TensorFlow and Transformers. And I don't know why I wrote PyTorch here. Why did I write PyTorch? I thought PyTorch is the computer vision. Do we have PyTorch models that are that are NLP ones? Do we? I think. I think Himanshu added them. Okay, in, so uh, Himanshu used PyTorch for NLP in another model. Okay, so we have, and then you just added PyTorch models too, and you added them under PyTorch, right? Yes. Okay. But was did that didn't already exist though, right? Yeah, that didn't exist before. So. Transformers, maybe. Let's see. Mm, okay, so it never really was. Okay, no, he hadn't done that then. Um, okay, so I don't know why I must have. How did I? I don't know how I ended up putting it there. So that should go. That's basically. This is like phase 3.333. Um, 3.3 repeating, and then phase. Merge new models from master branch and then again and then do this again. Um, so, and so the new ones we have are PyTorch for oh, uh, yeah, the new ones we have are PyTorch. And for some reason, we'd already figured this out, I guess. Um, okay. All right. Um, so that's TensorFlow Hub and Transformers. And then PyTorch, so Spacey is the one that we care about here on this new one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, vision and NLP models. That's why we had it there. But then your, I mean, prediction is prediction, right? So those PyTorch models, or I mean, not prediction is prediction, but um, the PyTorch models. They should be able to work fine with them. Um, they should work fine with the uh, with the existing ac like the new accuracy method. 
um, cause it should just run predictions and then you're calculating accuracy by doing, um, let's see. Let's, how are you calculating accuracy here? I'm taking the prediction and then just uh, checking the label and then just run, uh, taking the errors. Okay, so this should work fine with the new accuracy scores then, right? Yes, yes, it will work fine. Okay, great. So yeah, let's just, let's just make sure. So I don't know why. Okay, that's obviously... Now this is just now this is more descriptive of what the hell we're doing. And then I don't know how this got that was the correct thing to do, but somehow it was way up here. Okay. So does that sound that sounds good then? Uh yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So um, uh, the TensorFlow hub is actually done. Okay. And the transformers, like I have reverted it back, the changes. Okay, great. Yes. Sweet. All right. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we found out, which is now I'm real, I, you know, I realize now that we had, I just removed that to bullet point, but we must have actually known what to do and then and forgot about that because we had a bullet point telling us that we should have just modified the accuracy signature. Um, we found out that we should just be modifying the accuracy signature um, for NLP models. Um, we'll need to merge new models in master into accuracy score branch. Okay. Um, so, um, and then, oh no, we lost him on again. Right. He, he joined and we lost him. Damn. Um, um, okay. So, all right, so Sutanshu, are you are you feeling good about path forward then? Uh yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Sweet, thank you. All right. Um then so Sakshan, what was the other thing you were saying? Yeah, I was trying to add the dog string issue. I was trying to do the dog string issue and mm -hmm. I had some errors, I doc, think wait, which dog string issue? Oh sorry, uh data flow source dog string. Oh, okay, cool. So I had some, uh, uh, I wanted to ask you something about the async functions and such. Okay, yeah, let's check it out. I'm sharing my screen to, so that you can see what I'm facing. Um, you want to switch over? Yeah, I've shared my screen. Like your screen so, sharing my screen, so I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, like here, I've added a doc string. So in here, I have here, I'm just printing the record, but okay. I don't know how doc string uh, testing works. So it's just giving me a blank line, and this is not being checked. Oh, because we have a blank line. Um, let's see, got. Okay. Or wait, got expected nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so maybe you need to put in blank line, um, like that. So maybe copy paste that blank line. Uh, the no, it's not expecting anything. It's, it's well, it's, it's not it's, expecting anything because it's seeing a blank line. So go back to your go back to your 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 co the code. 
So the reason it's not expecting anything is because it's expecting to see some output right there, right? And so it's saying what it got was a blank line and then this stuff, right? So I don't know what the format is to expect a blank line, but I'm guessing it's putting blank line right there. So we can try that. So. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. So, and what is this for? So maybe we shouldn't be printing. Maybe why don't we just print record dot features or something? Because doesn't the string version of record also like look at the size of the screen? Yeah. So that's why I was asking that. How can we yield the record? In yeah. Just, so some just do just do print record dot features and call the method features. So record dot features and then open print close print. Yeah, there you go. And now, now you should it'll it'll yell at you with whatever it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. What I wanted. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Sweet. Thank you. All right. Great. This is great. And push this uh, pull request too. Awesome. Yay. That's a good one. I'm excited to see that one. All right. Cool. Um. Well, let's see. Let's see if Imanchu has been able to say something in the chat. Um, okay. Well, it looks like he probably hasn't gotten back on his network connection. So if no one, does anyone have anything else today? If not, I'll continue to work frantically on my kernel patch. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> Good luck you, with that. Thanks. Are you guys all done with school or are you guys in summer term? No, What's I'm like on? super busy. School is just school. opening up now. Oh, it's just doing it again? Oh, next semester. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oof. Well, good luck with that then. Um, <laughs> yeah. All also, right. uh, Eid Mubarak again. Yeah, Eid I just Mubarak. realized today is Eid. Eid Mubarak. What is that? Yeah, that, uh, that's a festival. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that sounds. I would. I would say enjoy, but I'm sure there's probably not much festivities going on. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy how you can, right? Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Well, I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and uh, thanks everyone, and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.